Well, we're very pleased to be joined by Mr. Strike Togwane, the National Deputy President of Azabo, to talk to us about the life and legacy of the fallen legend, Wabu Steve Beko. Deputy President, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, welcome to News Today. Uh, good afternoon, Alicia, and to the viewers of uh, SAFM uh, uh, TV. Baba, Baba Strike, 40 years on, what can we learn from the late moral and ethical compass that was Babu Steve Biko? Uh, there's a breath of fresh air today. All over the country, the name Steve Biko is reverberating. And the messages that want to take this country forward are sharply coming forward. What must be gleaned out of this? What must be learned out of this by whole society? First and foremost, it must not become an event. It must be something we live by. Remember the quotation that in time will give this country a precious gift and that is gift its true humanity which he gave his life for it with a view and hope that in time this country South Africa, Azania when it is free the people will be free in the mind but also people will respect each other, respect one another, walk around with their heads high as black people, with dignity, respecting everyone, mm -hmm. accommodating everyone, and that uh, our education will be fine and nobody is going to eat another person. It's black people who eat each other. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this is what was, we want to glean out of today's messages that uh, Steve Biko has bestowed upon us. Mm. Prostrike, uh, do tell us, what ideals should we really be fighting for, not just as a black nation that overcame apartheid, but rather as a, a nation moving forward that benefits all those that live in it? Um, remember that the message that Steve Biko gave is for all of us. It does not discriminate. Mm -hmm. A lot of mistakes are done. People think when he says black consciousness, it means anti-whiteism. Mm -hmm. Black consciousness is for black people because they were in trouble. It is, it is, it is a, an ideology and a philosophy that says we must pick up the, 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 the lives the ideals that black people should live like anybody else in the world. Mm -hmm. And therefore, when black people live like anybody else in the world, everybody's going to benefit. White people are going to benefit as well. Mm -hmm. So when we create a country that is free, a country that can educate its own, a country that can economically benefit everybody, not certain individuals, it is everyone that is going to benefit. When we fight for the land, that black people 20 years over, 20 years, they still don't own land in their own country. Mm. There's definitely not going to be any peace. When everybody else in the whole world is here to benefit, and yet the South Africans, they are still living in the dungeons, they are still living in uh, Mikuku. They are still not uh, in better schools. Mm. And recently, they are eating each other. They are opening the graves and decimating people in the graves. That is not the deal, ideal that Steve Biko died for. Bro Strike, there's he been a cry. Ideal. Bro Strike, I'm sorry to get that in there. That will make everyone happy. 
Yes, uh, I hear you. There's been a cry for moral as well as effective leadership, not just in our country, but across the continent. In your view, what do you think we're still getting wrong when, of course, uh, we elect those, le- those leaders? Why can't we have leaders that encompass the same values as the late Steve Speaker? Black consciousness. They lack black consciousness. Black consciousness is a reflection of who we are. We must stop at a point and say, let's look at, let's reflect on us. For the past 300 decades or 300 years, we have been oppressed, we have been psychologically being downgraded. So when we get freedom in South Africa, when we get freedom in Zimbabwe, when we get freedom in Angola, in Ghana, everywhere else. The first thing that we must look at is to reflect on where we come from and where do we want to go. It's important for us to map out where do we want to go, where do we want to see ourselves 10 years after this, 20 years after this, where do we want to see our children. Our struggle must not be hollow. It must be a struggle that is full of values. Unfortunately, we have gotten into a struggle that says only the economic aspect of it, if I can find myself being in parliament and being rich, driving nice cars and so on, we have arrived. We have not arrived. We arrive when we have our country, when we have our land back to us, when we don't feel inferior, when we are not made by material things, but we are made by values That speaks to our culture. Mm. That speaks to our ancestors that have sacrificed their lives so that we can become a better people. This is what we must do in South Africa and everywhere else in the continent. Prostrike, thank you so much that for your time. That we can become a better person. And those things, they need sacrifice. Absolutely. Prostrikes, unfortunately, we're out of time. Thank you so much for those wise words there. That is, of course, Mr. Strike Tokwane, who says, let's reflect on ourselves. And, of course, he is the deputy president of Azapo, and he was just taking us through the ideals of Bantu Steve Biko and how the nation can turn his legacy into action.